everybody. Uh, I'm Jay. I am from Salesforce, and I have my colleague Padmaraj. Uh, uh, we are both going to talk about uh, unlocking the secret to digital uh, Salesforce digital experiences. Uh, but before going there, I would like to remind, uh, Salesforce is a publicly traded company, so please make your purchasing decisions uh, based on what is available uh, in the product commercially as of today. So Salesforce Experience Cloud, uh, this is uh, a cloud which delivers connected digital experiences with Salesforce. With the help of Experience Cloud, you can build scalable uh, solutions which are very performant. You could create any website, a microsite, portals, mobile apps, for that matter, any digital experience to, to drive better engagement with your customers and drive innovation. I'll let, give Padma, to Padmaraj to uh, talk about the architecture a little bit, and then we'll show you a demo as well. Okay, thanks, Shay. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so we now we are going to talk about um, and see what Experience Cloud is. Basically, what has been built on top of the world's number one CRM platform, which is Salesforce. Before I get into this, I would like to pose a question to all of you. Let's say if you are reading a news article or watching a video, what is your attention time span that you think? You can focus on it and before you skip to the next one. Five seconds. Seven, 11. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. This says it is normally seven to eight seconds. Okay. Before you decide, okay, this is not what I am looking for. And for Gen Z, it is somewhere around four to five seconds. Now think about this. All you have is six to seven seconds to impress your customer at that particular touch point so that he gets converted to the next touch point. So let's see how this is done at a very high level from a Salesforce architecture. And today you have an array of channels which the customers interact with you. For example, you have a mobile app, you have a digital watch, you have a partner portal, you have a website and so on. So there is an array of interfaces in which you have to deliver the experience. Now think about how will you create content for each of these experiences. And in the last session we saw that there are close to six touch points from a two touch points which was existing 10 years ago, right? So let's say we have to focus at least on five touch points which the customers are going to come to you and what is the type of content that you are going to serve them. For example, let's say you are browsing about details about a product which is at the acquisition phase. Then you move into the onboarding where you bring the traffic from organic search into your website. Then probably you engage them showing customized promotional banners. Then you sell the product and after you sell a product you support them which means at every touch point, there is a need of a content and there is a need of an experience, two things. Now you need to think as an organization, is my content authoring team just a website team? No, they are the persons who create experiences right even before your customer lands into your website until the moment they log a support ticket with you and they have to see a similar experience. So with this in mind, I think uh, how Salesforce CMS does this is, it has two things. One is the authoring layer, and the next is the rendering layer. In authoring layer, you divide pages into templates and components. Basically, you divide website and any, any UI into layouts, and then you apply a theme and brand on top of it. And then for mobile devices, you have to publish them to the mobile devices like push notifications or app upgrades. And then you have to have specific runtimes. Let's say if you're delivering it on IoT device, you need an IoT specific runtime. So now all of this configures, uh, configures the experience builder layer. Then the underlying foundation layer is the content management layer, which manages the life cycle of content. And then since Salesforce is a CRM platform, it has the op options to enable all that CRM data which you have captured as first party to give it to the respective channels. And on top of it, you have your personalization and intelligence. So you can hyper personalize based on the current browsing journey of a customer. You can hyper personalize what is his next journey is. And this is seamlessly integrated with the 360 degree platform. I'll quickly move on to the next one. So what does the Salesforce CMS do for the content, right? So think about this. So content, what kind of contents do you have? So for example, you as a company create content about your own website for your own products. 
and that is the first party content which you have you wanted to host basically images videos blogs so salesforce supports such kind of a content which is traditional content marketing content now there is also a content which comes from other systems within your organization for example you have a product catalog you have a crm system which has customer data so you also borrow the data and club it with the marketing data and you want to host that content as well so that is also supported by salesforce there is a third type of content which is unique to salesforce is salesforce also offers connectivity to multiple other cms systems so which means you are already a fortune 500 company and you already have a cms inbuilt but you wanted only a crm part you can still do it and salesforce offers connect apis which you can connect and pull data from other cmss like sitecore uh, aem drupal wordpress and and that that actually covers the complete landscape of how to render content we will see more of this in the demo i'll hand it over back to jay thanks padmaraj so as uh, just to summarize what padmaraj was saying salesforce cms it is content management system it is to deliver content to any channel it is powerfully simple uh, it has three steps first create the content within the salesforce cms it is part of workspaces second manage your content within salesforce cms and once you have created and managed your content you can syndicate the content to any touch point be it a site portal external channels we have headless delivery apis with the help of which you can even write your custom components and for any use case you could uh, uh, you know use the use the content the primary point being what you you author the content once and then at all touch points in your customer's journey it is the same seamless consistent brand experience which your customers will get let's see a demo so for the demo we have uh, created a fictitious uh, company called capricorn healthcare it's a non existent company created just for the purpose of the demo we'll show you three personas uh, for this particular demo rachel morris who is a potential patient uh, as it's a healthcare company we'll sh we'll show you the journey of how rachel uh, you know experiences the salesforce digital experience platform then we'll show you the journey of ben johnson who will help us create content he is our content manager and then finally we'll take you to the journey of ryan smith who is our salesforce admin who will take the content which ben created and built a website in like a matter of few clicks let's walk through the journey of uh, rachel so rachel is let's assume rachel is moving cities and uh, you know uh, just looking for a healthcare service organically she reached uh, via search she reached our website the, uh, this is uh, the capricorn healthcare website we have created for demo it it talks about various services which the healthcare service provides all the locations that it serves specifically she is moving to chicago let's say so she was interested in those she also gets information about the upcoming events uh, which are around the healthcare now the first thing uh, very, very important for healthcare is to find a doctor which is the right doctor for you so you go to find a doctor you have uh, you know categories based on uh, different services and then you dive right into the doctor section to get details about uh, the doctors available now once she has gone through the doctors list she would like to see what all conditions or what all services are being provided by uh, this capricorn healthcare similarly you you can see that there are departments which are categorized based on uh, you know what you are looking for and right into that you see uh, the doctors list as well there is a lot of information about the locations uh, of course to you know serve you where you are and then we have in, uh, so we have made integration with google maps here etc to make the experience seamless uh, the digital experience uh, seamless for a particular uh, you know journey for a customer now what you saw so far was an unauthenticated anonymous user fast forward two months down the line rachel becomes a customer for capricorn healthcare and now we'll see the personalized experience for rachel so rachel logs in to customer uh, to capricorn healthcare with her login credentials and now you see a banner which says welcome rachel now this will contain a lot more personalized information than just the previous search you can see details about prescriptions 
uh, you know what are prescriptions were given what are the appointments in the past what are the upcoming appointments and so on and so forth it also talks about the care team uh, which you know uh, which is provided by the health capricorn healthcare so just to stress here what you saw so far is the end user journey right this is how your customers customers will uh, you know uh, experience the digital experience now what padmaraj is going to take you through is how we can build this sort of a website in just a matter of few clicks so let's go through the journey of ben who is going to actually create this content in salesforce cms and then go through ryan who will actually build this website so over to padmaraj Yeah, thanks, sir. Okay, now we are talking about Ben, who is the content author. So, whatever website that you just saw was built on top of Salesforce Experience platform. So, now let's see how Ryan has built this platform. So, Ryan, sorry, Ben. Ben just logs into the application using his single sign-on, and he is taking to the home page of Digital Experience. This is where he is trying to build his website. as you see here here he has options to navigate to the multiple interfaces which digital experiences offers which means he can create content he can syndicate content and he can create channels and stuff now let's look at what is cms workspace cms workspace is basically a api first place to which store your content so all your content are organized here and all your website are kept separate which means experiences are separate and website is content is separate let's say if you want to create a new mobile website now let's say i'm creating a workspace to store the content for the mobile i'm i'm giving the name and description of a workspace i'm i'm selecting the workspace type i'm moving on i'm selecting what channels do i need to send this content at this moment i can select what channels will have this content i select what are all the contributors who contribute content into this then i give a specific role for these contributors on what will be the role they will play in that particular workspace and then i can select multilingual so which means uh, what is the base language and what are the other languages to be supported so when i create content i create all of the configurations of the content at a single click a single space so that i create a workspace now now let's look at uh, our specific use case of capricorn healthcare how the content is created for us so you have to see here capricorn healthcare has a folder based structure which is pretty similar to how you browse into a website site site architecture so now this is where the content is so here he has options to create content folders or um, any kind of translations whether he can import translations or export and then he can associate with multiple channels and add contributors further in this workspace now let's try creating a specific content yeah so for example i am going to show the creation of a news article now and here you see some custom page types which are specific to the healthcare domain because you will not see this in banking domain so when you are a specific customer of a particular domain you get those components specifically for you now i am just creating and editing a existing article just to show you how the authoring experience is so i am editing an existing um, news article where it opens a new schema this is a basically a form based structure where they give a title of the news a content slug a body of the news and a banner image which is basically needed schema for a news now i am going to show you a very important feature of uh, of salesforce cms called as sidebar extensions you know today's world of authoring has highly evolved and uh, you really need some powerful tools and integrations to aid authoring for example let's say i am writing movie reviews how how good it will be if i am able to fetch the review from 10 different websites and show it in the site panel let's say i am a creative writer how if chat gpt suggests me that these are all the creative writings that have been done by multiple people so you can build any such kind of extensions and plug it inside this so one of such extension that i am showing here is tldr summary summarizer which means you see the body text here which is pretty huge now i want my ai algorithm to basically summarize this and just give me a one line text how cool is it right so let's see how salesforce does it so here i just come and i click on the extension and all i have to do here is i have to select what is the minimum number of characters and the maximum number of characters and what is the source field the source is the body and the target is probably the excerpt text which is in the last and i select the algorithm and the moment i click it you see that it has contacted um, the api and it has generated a one liner text of this entire body 
So this is just opening up a, a, a huge number of opportunities for to enable authoring, which is for the future use cases. Yeah. So now let's say as Ben has saved this article, now I'm going to show you an another important feature of uh, Salesforce CMS, which is really powerful, which is collections. Many places in your website, you see news articles that are clubbed into a singular view, but they are created individually. So Salesforce has come up something with called as collections, where you can group such items into a singular view and present it as a view. So for example, if you see here, I have opened an existing collection, uh, which is for healthcare. And if you see, I have added multiple individual collections uh, items here. So I can keep adding multiple things. I will show you in the Ryan's journey how he uses this to construct a website. So that's pretty much on the authoring part. I have covered most of the important aspects. I will quickly take you through uh, Ryan's where he will cover the experience part. Okay, now let's look at Ryan, right? So Ryan is also a Salesforce administrator as well as a site admin who is working in the Capricorn Healthcare. Now he logs into the same Salesforce application using his single sign-on credentials. He's taken to the same digital experience UI. But this time, he is primarily going to work on the experience builder and not the content builder, right? So here he comes and he selects the site and he clicks on builder. So builder is nothing but a simple YSWIG editor uh, where you can drag and drop components. You can move, move content here just by dragging and dropping them. And you can, you can double click on it where you can do inline editing, which means you can directly go to your website, double click on a particular place and edit the content of it and save it. And here he has options to uh, preview the components very easily. As you see, the, it has an array of components which comes out of the box. And then it also has customized components specific to the domain. For example, this is a healthcare domain. So you see a lot of healthcare related components here. And the next is the look and feel of the website where he can edit is using the theme icons. And the last is the structure of the page. As you say there, it is built with multiple number of components. The structure of the page can be defined here. And most importantly, right, the settings of a website also can be managed at the same place. Instead of managing it as an admin level, you can say what kind of users are going to visit your website, what is going to be the shortened URL for them, whether that page is authenticated or not. And then you can select whether guest author authorization is allowed, what are the languages it supports, where, how to navigate to them. And um, probably I'll, I'll talk about the integrations. Let's say if you wanted to enable Google Analytics for your website. It is just, you can go and just say add to site. So which means it is basically zero programming and if you allow your customers to basically configure your website. And this is the way in which you can move from one page to another page and you can configure vanity and redirect URLs automatically within the single interface. How cool is it, right? So you don't have to go to multiple screens to configure all of this. So now look at the collections one that I was mentioning. Now Ryan is editing a grid component. As you see, this is already a collection component. So he goes and updates this. And now he selects that particular collection that we created as Ben. So now once you select it, um, the number of items that you see in the grid view should automatically update to the collection what, um, what Ben was authored. Yeah, so you see there that I think that's the collection in which multiple four news articles have updated in a single grid view. And that is how you can use this across devices and across channels. Now let's say everything looks good. So now Ryan wants to do end user kind of testing. So now he goes to the preview mode. He can preview both authenticated and unauthenticated site, how it looks, different uh, viewports and different devices. He looks at mobile view, how does it look, whether his images are scaling well, uh, whether the, 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 the kind of size that he needs is apt. And then he looks at the tablet view. At a singular place, he checks all of this as a primary check. And then he can also view it in multiple languages, whatever languages that he used while creating the workspace. Now all looks fine. And now Ryan just publishes this content and it goes to the, and flushes the cache in the CDN. Now all users like Rachel who has been browsing the site will get this updated content. Now let's quickly check that one also. Yeah, the site is published. Yeah, so now I'm loading it as Rachel. Yeah, there you see. So now the, I think the, the grid is updated with the updated view. So that's where you saw three people. Rachel, who is an end customer, who wanted a customized experience in healthcare. And Ben created the right content for it. 
and Ryan authored the right site for them all in a seamless way. So as you saw, uh, you saw Rachel's journey uh, for the end user or the end customer. You saw Ben Johnson who authored the content for us and then uh, Ryan Smith who built the website for us. Pretty cool, no? Uh, it was a low code, uh, a few clicks, and then uh, such a uh, perfect digital experience is out there. Thank you for joining.